And finally tonight, you know that politics is important to us here, but so are the arts, so is culture. So is uh, outward signs of art and culture in our public square, often personified or embodied by a sculpture, a statue. Don't tell me that statues aren't important, otherwise the left wouldn't be so intent on tearing down statues that uh, you and I may hold dear and revere. So that brings us to a statue that's recently been erected in New York City that, well, I can't quite figure it out. But David Marcus, columnist over at uh, Daily Wire and Human Events and Daily Mail and Fox News and the New York Post. And I'm sorry, we're not going to have enough time to talk about where your columns show up, David. Uh, you know more about art than I do, though. What is this abomination? I, I don't know. Um, the, the sculptor, the, the, the word that, that people in the arts like to use now is urgent. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm dead. Serious. I'm sorry. That just makes me feel like I got to get to the bathroom real fast. No, I, I, I know, <laughs> no, but, but th th this was sort of like that it was urgent that there be some representation. I don't know what that means. I, I, I think that the statue is is meant to be like a black woman or or, or some some kind of person of color. Uh huh. Um, it, but I mean, it, it looks like it has horns. I mean, it it, it looks like something yeah. that you would see in like a, a, a Cecil B. DeMille you know, movie right before Moses throws the, the, the you know, right. the, the tablets. Bring it, bring it back up here again. You're right. It's, it's absolutely, they might as well have just put a golden calf. Can we bring yeah, this up and look know. at it again together, guys? Because this is, it does, it looks like a pagan goddess of some kind. Um, and I get it. There's so many, you know, dead white men in, in togas that are represented in New York. So we need to get something else. But has has the artist explained exactly what the message is from this pagan icon? Uh, not that I've seen. I, I mean, I, I think we're just sort of supposed to assume that it's the basic, you know, woke message of giving representation to, as you said, you know, so, something other than white men. But, but you know, it, it, it's fascinating because this comes on the heels of another controversy with the Martin Luther King Jr. statue. Oh, yes. Um, Martin Luther King Jr., the last time I checked, um, was not a white man. <laughs> and and his statue doesn't even show his head. Right. Or face. <laughs> right. So I... It's it's just bizarre to me. It is, and I, I don't know. I mean, again, I haven't lived in New York for a while. You've been there more recently, you, you know, uh, than I have. Is somebody going to be walking down, you know, Thirty Fourth Street and look up and see this thing and think, oh, finally, now I feel represented here in Gotham? I I don't know. Um, it's a great question, Larry, because we keep we keep acting like it's you know 1952. And, you know, when when 92 percent of the country was white and that really was all you still, you know, mostly all you saw on sure. TV and in movies. That's just not true anymore. I mean, you watch TV shows, you watch movies, this idea that, like, we don't see any people of, of color in our entertainment. It's absurd. It's a lie. This thing's being celebrated, though. I mean, the, the cultural left, the leftists in the media, they think this is the greatest advancement in New York City since the subway. And it, it's not like there's lack of space in New York. It, listen, if they want to put up a statue that uh, they think represents their ideology or uh, certain groups of people, I don't care. What bothers me is that it's not just about putting up statues like this. They've spent a lot of time removing statues over the last couple of years in New York, including Teddy Roosevelt, including Thomas Jefferson. Uh, why can't we have both? Why can't it be both and instead of either or? No, I mean, it, clearly it should be. Um, you know, I, I led a protest outside of the Museum of Natural History back in, in 2020 uh, in an effort to try to save that Teddy Roosevelt statue, which, I mean, was absolutely iconic. Yeah. Um, and he really was the foundation of that museum and, and a great hero of New York City. Uh, and it's gone now. And a great and hero of natural history, a great hero of, of uh, conservation and wildlife. Yeah. And, and by the way, the controversy of that statue was that he was on a horse and he was being led by um, a black man and uh, an American Indian. And the idea was that somehow that showed the black figure and the American Indian figure in, in some poor light. Yeah. It absolutely did not. I mean, they were armed. They were strong, powerful figures. Yeah. 
Uh, it was just it was just a disgrace. It is a disgrace. And, and even worse, when you take your kids or grandkids to the museum now, they're going to be looking for the Robin Williams character from Night at the Museum, and they're not going to be able to find it. And that's that's a cry and shame. David Marcus, yep. thanks for joining us. Always good to have you. That's it for tonight's edition of O'Connor Tonight, but we'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. In the meantime, I'll see you on the radio.